Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller, Divine Light. And today I'm going to do a coffee cup reading for the next four weeks. And this is going to be a financial forecast about money, career, and uh, success. This reading is intended for sun, moon, and rising signs. So if you have any of those in your chart, it might actually resonate with you. I will also leave a link up here and in the description box below if you would like a private reading from me. You can go ahead and book your reading from there. I also want to thank every single one of you for being an amazing support. And uh, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit subscribe and become a member of this beautiful soul community. Subscription is free. You can unsubscribe anytime you want. We're going up to 50,000 this month. And uh, that would be great if we can actually hit that number. All right, guys, let's jump in right away and let's see what is coming your way. Okay. I, I feel here, I'm not really seeing, but I feel there's a pathway opening here for you. This can be like an opportunity coming your way or even like the light is actually, you see, slowly illuminating a path. Uh, maybe um, something that you have a question in your mind or you want to maybe recreate something or st start something from scratch. This flow can be symbolizing that thing actually going to slowly um come through into your life okay that desire that you have there is another second thing here you can see a tears of joy this seems like maybe within the fourth week or so uh good news or maybe some unexpected news coming forward making you so happy extremely happy okay i see here two things initially like um a stingray you can see the eyes and the mouth of the stingray. And when I turned around, I see another person here standing and carrying a baby, swaddled baby in their hand, okay? Maybe not baby that uh, like a really cute, small, maybe like a six months old baby. Uh, this can be actually indicative of like a um, project that you have in your hand, maybe a six months old project that you're working on. And I also see there's a male figure here, kind of looks like... Um, someone with white hair white beard can be a wise consul okay when you say wise consul two signs come to my mind and when i in tarot one of them is like the hermit the other one is actually the hierophant so the taurus can be this person uh, they are they have this calmness to them they have this knowledgeable uh, that they have the knowledge the hermit actually goes back into his shell because he actually manifests the knowledge that he is looking for so he's content with the information he has in his hand and um hierophant actually symbolizes an authority symbol uh, with someone with a lot of authority i see here there are many people actually there's a male figure holding another figure up and this can be someone maybe you are like you are going through um rebuilding yourself maybe um from scratch starting from scratch and this person is holding you up and maybe you are this person holding another person up that is going through something okay there is actually like a beautiful beautiful teardrop you can see it is surrounded looks like um a teardrop shape and this can even be like a container containing this um experience this can be a painful experience that you're turning into a gem a gold for yourself maybe a business um adventure that you set off to uh, weren't actually successful maybe you were working in a company and now you have to change it up the person holding you up can be someone recruiter supporter someone actually like uh, actually supporting your cause this can be like a legal thing a battle that you're going through the bottled tear can be symbolizing that you're turning your uh, experiences negative experience into very um, valuable gems okay this can even be like you finding out a way to teach this to people okay which is a positive thing if you have like a good experience that people can benefit from you can turn that into a class. You can turn that into something useful for others as well. It seems like um, that's the pathway for that, okay? I see a dog here. Kind of reminds me of the nose part. It's like a golden 
retriever the golden dogs and they are extremely friendly sometimes too friendly um so this can be someone with that energy okay golden energy uh they're all about fun and playing enjoyment kind of like um maybe sagittarius energy they are all about fun also they are when they actually put there's something in their mind they can become beasts but this can be someone that wants to play along wants to enjoy the life and they like maybe even like want to have some fun with you and they're showing up here with this golden energy and also another thing with them is because of the nature of the dog they are probably extremely loyal to you to the cause to whatever that you are actually wanting to build with this person but what they're going to do i even see a strawberry here you can see right there um the strawberry can symbolize pleasure so whatever that you are actually going into with this person uh, this highest ex uh, expression whatever it is that you're following the guidance is um going to bring a lot of pleasure initially and that is going to be the first thing showing up here okay pleasure can be uh enjoying something that you really want to have like maybe um uh, taking a nice trip together or um like maybe eating good food together building something great together it can be like even whatever your interest area is another thing come to my mind is like maybe like you're playing video games it happens you know um like that can be someone that you're going to be actually building something in those kind of strategy stuff that you're doing okay some video games can be actually so much fun and i see here there's a um, person wearing a gown and there's another person here that is lifting that person up so gown can be symbolizing um a celebratory event okay this person may be setting off to uh, something to celebrate and also they're standing on the back of this um golden again here like i said golden can symbolize a supportive person as well so you can be the one being actually lifted up by two people um and i see a heart shape here this can be your heart's desire maybe you're setting off to a new adventure and you're receiving uh, some support i feel like the support can be <clears throat> doesn't have to be always uh, like financial can also be a spiritual support okay and the spiritual support this kind of when i put it down kind of looks like a house as well or maybe a trident a tr not a trident but three people a triangle which can be uh like the three of pentacles so it's actually three of pentacles indicates like um creating massive amazing things and also three uh, of pentacles can be teamwork makes the dream work so with the people that are coming together the things that they're you're building is going to actually something to appreciate okay for the long term there's a, even like a crescent moon here this can be a legal accomplishment and i even see when i turn it around here a young child uh this new thing that you're starting on can be something actually uh if cared well can become something great i see sickle here over the head of someone little y or v this kind of looks like a horse too with a skinny mouth here right there uh sickle is a tool actually to collect your produce okay and uh, the horse indicates that this is your wish fulfillment okay you might have already made the investments you might have already gained the scholarships or the skill sets in order to manifest this life that you're wanting you're desiring However, maybe you don't know how to use a tool. You don't know how to collect it. The opportunity to collect it is going to show up. I even see a person's face here, the horse with the horse. So the person is pulling the horse towards you. So you might get some outside help as well, okay, uh, as a person. Or maybe you are actually figuring out how to pull this horse in a um, systematic way towards you, okay, towards your goals i see someone standing in front of you this can be like an endeavor maybe the sickle can symbolize that if you have been working in a company for a long time putting a lot of energy in now it's time to collect the fruits of your hard labor there's someone here look watching over you you only see the eyes here 
and a supervisor and there's somebody standing in front of you here but i don't know if they're like even two people i see a couple uh standing in front of you and there's actually like a high priestess kind of a character in front uh, behind them so um this can be like a community that you're looking at the people that you're looking at that you're pulling this horse and they are actually waiting in curiosity maybe they really want you to be the leader here maybe they really want to support you but they don't know if you're playing for the leadership role okay so this can be if this is the case with you if you are actually playing for the leadership role but you're not going after it and this can be symbolizing that it is time to go because people there to support you they're waiting for you curious like in a very curious manner this can also be like if you have for example a product or that you want to launch and maybe there are people out there they really want it need it and looking looking for it and maybe you find that you have already found a niche but you're not going after the thought um you know you're gonna give them, be given the opportunity from then on it is going to be in your hands to take action towards it okay i see here uh this looks like kind of like a brain also maybe like a walnut uh either way if you take it as a walnut walnuts tend to be a very good food super food actually for human brain and brain can be also symbolizing uh like um having an open mind to the things and i see a person just popping out of there and there's a, someone actually like laughing right there you see and um, one side and another side someone actually kind of sleeping uh this can be in your mind again this can be two people uh, who are attached to each other in some sort of way and uh, maybe they're not really aligning together or this can be your mind actually not aligning together i see a bird here this looks like an eagle eagle symbolizes freedom power and the laughing side of it uh your brain's laughing side of it wants to have the freedom in your life wants to attract it working on it and taking action towards it and being very joyful about it and we have another part of you here it looks like a lamb with this little ear maybe like choosing to be a little bit more um because i see here a dove a little bit more peaceful and um maybe sleeping on things but being peaceful is actually a positive sign this actually indicates perfect masculine feminine balance here listening to your intuition but do not be sleeping on it because it's sleeping here it's not really meditating or anything so maybe you are already taking necessary actions and doing whatever it takes but you're not maybe listening to your intuition and following that intuitive guidance even though it's being delivered by higher powers or the people or maybe like you're hearing about it but you're not taking action towards it but i feel like this is the moment that you're going to become aware maybe within the third week i see there's a pathway opening here this can be a new opportunity a woman is actually waiting for you there and i see another pathway opening there's a wolf right there wolf symbolizes actually um families wolf packs are families you getting socializing i see two lambs behind you lambs can be symbolizing that are actually people um i'm not gonna say like uh, in a negative way that two good catch that you're gonna be having in your life right behind you okay you might have to just turn around and see them that can be like the main thing for you right there towards the end of the month maybe the, within the fourth week also i had a number eight here that indicates material satisfaction so when you actually recognize the opportunities surrounding you and take action towards it it is actually going to bring a lot of financial security into your life okay let's get into your plate now if you have a question desire an intention hold it in your mind let's see what the answer is going to be for that i kind of see like a cow oh okay a bull with uh, the horns here okay so books can be Taurus, authority, high reference energy, or maybe masculinity. You're taking action, getting an inspiration, even though I wiped its nose. So your desire coming forward, and it seems like it is related to money. And it's coming forward, and there's a second unexpected opportunity also showing up here, okay? I see a letter A. This can be in the first name or the last name of a person. This bird kind of reminds me of one of those like with the pointy nose i don't i don't remember the name of it 
like the pointy and it's just going downward it kind of reminds me of one of those birds they catch fish uh, it's not um i don't know the english name of the bird um, yeah i can't remember the name of it but it has like a long beak and it's curved at the end it's here so fish uh symbolizes money and i see pregnant women here this can also symbolize abundance coming your way because like a pregnancy is actually multiplying and the child usually comes with their own uh abundance the children bring their own abundance their own resources when they come to this planet okay so uh, this bird can be symbolizing you becoming this fish catching machine basically like a money uh, maybe the opportunities are going to be flowing maybe you're going to actually find that um, highest calling that will give you a lot of inspiration for you to manifest money and also uh, with the new uh, pregnant women having a baby symbolizes that uh, there can be a baby coming into your family the second desire also coming really fast by the way and I see someone contemplating after the victory and maybe he's just reassessing it. So pregnant women uh, also symbolize the thing that the new thing that you're going to be starting on, which will start like become a resource, a source of uh, fast growing wealth and good abundance for you. Okay. Let's see what your cards are telling us at this time. Okay. I have tarot here and some other oracle cards. Okay. Three of Cups is a beautiful energy here. This can be a celebration coming forth or um this can be an occasion a family friends coming together that kind of an environment maybe they're uh, going to come together and start something new or uh, maybe you are actually because i have five of cups a uh, five of pentacles came forth here maybe you are left out in the cold and feeling alone about something this is the energy is telling you okay it's coming to an end you're going to be able to celebrate i have three of pentacles because i mentioned in your reading so there's going to be people and um, places. This is actually, I'm going to show you how strange it is to me. Three of wands, two of wands. Five of uh, pentacles, four of pentacles. Three of pentacles, two of pentacles. Three, two, come together here. So definitely, um, yeah, it's, it's not, it's a shuffle deck. So it's like a one forward motion, one backward motion kind of a thing I see here, okay? And the three of cups symbolizes your, okay, this one to come out here. We have the world card. This is actually completion. Whatever is happening here, I'm going to explain now. Uh, you're actually bringing that to an end. This, you're completing a cycle and beginning a beautiful a new one here, okay? We have the Leo, the lion energy. This is you also like being uh, present here. Mm -hmm. also there's this i don't know if this is an eagle or a falcon i don't know the difference in between but still we have this freedom related bird here so the new cycle ending cycle is going to take away the chains also bring a lot of freedom into your life okay three of cups can be a celebration family gathering something come happening that you're going to come together with people in the meantime you're going to be given an inspiration however the inspiration is not going to be very clear and the path you can see here the path is going towards the mountain okay so whatever it is that you're manifesting the pathway is open but it's not clear because it's darker now that the sun is actually going down and the moon is coming up however here uh, in this energy we have the water which symbolizes your intuitive guidance so you don't have to see um the like uh three years later you only have to see one step away and uh, take that one step in a very secure way in the, by following your intuition and this will actually bring an opportunity of new adventure here with three of wands you may be traveling 
jumping into a new adventure or like going after your heart's desire, whatever the inspiration is taking you, wherever it is taking you. Two of Wands symbolizes a completion as well. He actually traveled the world, completed all the goals he had, and now he's actually reassessing, maybe planning for a new adventure here. This can be the energy showing up for you. Five of Pentacles can symbolize being left out in the cold. So you might be feeling after you complete your mission, whatever it is, when you get to the final destination, uh, maybe you might be feeling a little bit left out in the cold or maybe financially you might feel a little bit tight, even though maybe the, the energy is always flowing, you're always making the money. But because if you're used to increasing your wealth all the time, this can be seeming like a little pause in your end, okay? But we have the four pentacles. This indicates that do not um, do not overdo things. Do not spend your emotions, time, money uh, without you know reserving it. Make sure you are actually your mind is on the right point as well. This can be also being a little bit frugal with your stuff, your money, which is not a bad thing. Now I see. Hold on a second. This is like the whole thing came forward here. Five of Pentacles, four of Pentacles, three of Pentacles, and two of Pentacles. And so this is a very good sign, actually. You're going to go through it. However, two, uh, three of Pentacles indicates teamwork makes a dream work. You're going to actually bring together a lot of good uh, energy and the teamwork here. And you're going to start to create that, whatever desire that you have in your mind. Two of Pentacles, kind of like a warning here. Okay, with the world card, you're going to achieve success. As each success can be the new business idea you're going after. Maybe if you want your YouTube channel, but you might start to overdo things that can be draining your energy. This indicates that balance your energy out. If you're playing hard, it is okay to also, like if you're working hard, it's okay to play hard as well. You can be enjoying your uh, success. We have here the Knight of Wands looking very beautiful. This can be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and you are a fire sign. This is your energy as well. This can be you actually taking charge of the situation in your hand, not really letting it control, letting the circumstances control you, but you control the things. I have here the judgment card. The judgment, I think it came with Aries energy. I'm not 100% sure. However, here you see the people actually... Uh, rising from the dead this symbolizes forgiveness okay whatever the mistakes you have done in the past maybe you keep thinking your mind keep reminding you of that that is going to keep happening again unless you forgive yourself and take learn the lesson okay whatever has happened um it was a learning experience it wasn't anything more than that now you know better you're gonna do better so you can move on this can also be forgiving somebody else maybe and yeah, six of six of swords that symbolizes that maybe you're upset with a city, maybe you're upset with a character or a, a profession industry that you were working at. So this symbolizes that you know what it is time to forgive that and move on to the next. What's next online from choppy waters to the calmer shores? This we have again here page of wants this is your energy as well even though you're strategic smart adventurous it's okay to be a little bit not reckless i'm gonna say maybe because the page is a little bit immature he's also adventurous but he's blunt he speaks his mind maybe it is time and okay for you to speak your mind freely because it is going to be necessary at your stage at where you are in life okay uh, so you can actually create that financial security maybe even like asking for what is yours like maybe if you're going through an inheritance uh, thing and you're not really asking for anything or maybe you're going through um like you're dealing with uh, an authority figure that's not really paying you what you're worth maybe it's time to speak it out and say it we had a new life coming forward. This is actually the Wisdom of Oracle from Khaled Baron Reed, but this is like a Turkish translation, I think. So this is a new life coming for you. You're going to be manifesting a new opportunity. I see the why here. So if you are asking why the things went in a certain way, the answer will also show up, uh, which is a good thing because then you're not going to have 
um, you know, any doubts about the things that you are doing. When you find out the reason why the things happen in a certain way, this is actually going to bring uh, clarity to you, okay? Uh, let's see what this guys uh, this card says as an abundance message is um okay it's about knowing your why also why are you doing certain things what's the motive behind your creative endeavors okay and when you're clear about your why and your intentions are clear you can actually achieve whatever you're desiring this kind of tells me that the why is actually intention behind it okay why do you want to manifest for example you want to manifest money uh why do you want that money what are you going to do with that is this going to be just keeping you warm at night that's the purpose or you want to spend it on something for uh you know to make your life better okay and um, sometimes what we do is we focus on uh, the amount of the money that we need rather than focusing on the things that we want. Okay, money is a tool for us to actually manifest the, by the things we want. But if there's an opportunity for you to receive it without money, what would that be? That clear intention is very important here. Also behind the service that you're providing. And when the money becomes the service, the reason for the service, it actually corrupts eventually it just feel feels heavy but if you have a reason uh that's a noble reason that's a virtuous reason behind your why uh you would never let that go even though the money comes in or goes it doesn't matter you will always keep going at it and at the end if you, you know if definitely that is just a result of it that's just a side effect of it to get um wealthy or abundance receive abundance towards that endeavor by the book here let's see this actually symbolizes obeying the the social cultural family rules and also a universal laws universal law what we know is law assumption some of them uh law of attraction law of vibration there are like 11 laws i think the hermetica has some laws as above so below so whatever that you're thinking basically you're manifesting it into your life bringing it into the reality by the book symbolizes that um you need to be changing your mind at this time because you might not be back maybe you're not really um you're not really following your light it just says the, I think the interpretation here, I'm not going to go by the book, by the way. I feel like this is actually like if you want to manifest something, there are certain um, universal laws to make things happen. Or maybe so, there are some rules and regulation. There are like people are, for example, if they are, you're selling something, there's a way to do that. There's the marketing skills and all that good stuff. And um, if you want to impress people there are actually very good uh, books out there teaches you how to do that so it is like whatever that goal that you have for if you want to make money off of ceramics there is actually uh, you have to develop you have to learn it by the book initially even though if afterwards you can make like bunny statues in like in a you know uh, a little twisted way like the ones from the alice in wonderland however First, you need to learn how to manipulate the clay without jumping into your creative endeavor. So this is telling me like you need to first follow the book. After that, after you learn uh, and get to the high position, that, uh, that mastership level, you can manipulate the other things afterwards, okay? We have, again, strategy and the world come forth. The world card in tarot symbolizes actually uh ending of a cycle which we have here came forward for you i'm covering her up a little bit so yeah let's see what's the world card symbolizes here um it's actually expansion expansion opening yourself up to a new world okay um it's expanding your vision world is great and uh, there's so many options for you coming forward so when it comes to money maybe you have certain things in your mind certain structures which is natural structures that you're used to act um you know um you're used to follow 
okay which this is actually telling you and uh but the world is telling you that there are other ways to make things happen okay let's see what your avalon magic is telling you this time we have a bunny bunnies are actually symbols of abundance right Re reconnect to mother nature's world of plenty and you shall receive a myriad of miracles beautiful i'm gonna pull one more um this is from Rebecca Campbell, Star Seed Oracle. This is a Turkish translation. I'm going to put all of them in the description box below if you want to see what they are. Cracked open, rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. Okay, this is actually um, a positive card, even though it sounds cracked open is like hitting rock bottom is a bad thing, sounds like a bad thing. This is actually a positive thing. This is actually telling you um, that there's only a way and that's up if you're rock bottom right now. And if you're feeling down, if the things are not really manifesting the way you want it to be, uh, this is actually telling you surrender the alchemy of life uh, is like literally let the things, let go of the control of the things. Controlling doesn't mean like uh, taking action, going after your desires. It doesn't mean, controlling doesn't mean that. Controlling means trying to control the outcome, okay? And uh, like taking action is okay, but try to control the outcome. Persisting on something that is not coming forward because you wouldn't know if that's good for you or not. The universe, your higher self actually knows better. That's why we're being guided. And the guidance is actually joy. If you're feeling joy, means that you're in the right place in the right time. Fish. Let me tell you, this was on the bottom of the deck. And uh, I didn't want to just pull right away. I want to shuffle. And just the same thing just came forth again. Fish in coffee cup reading symbolizes massive abundance, okay? Uh, because there are plenty of fish in the sea. That's the first thing. And the second thing is um, fish is actually like a water energy, a water energy of emotions connecting with like the abundance, the feeling of abundance. Fish that can also symbolize that. This can be restlessness, change of focus, lost in the current. Fish loves to be sub subsumed in the in life's current nothing pleases more than movement movement and more movement the roaming lifestyle of the fish may be exhilarating for a while but usually leads to weariness and slippery relationships okay the meaning in this card this is actually animal spirit guidebook pocket animal spirit guidebook so it is actually being tired of doing certain things. This can this is symbolizing that. When in balance, you feel adaptable and you can travel well. When out of balance, you might feel distracted and um, you might be changing your mind often. To bring in the balance, you can set a small goal, which this part can be actually aligning with the energy here. Uh, and accomplishing that goal okay one thing at a time basically okay and i'm also going to interpret this as the crescent moon a legal accomplishment and the fish is a massive abundance coming with it okay all right my beautifuls that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all a magical day bye